I'm out here the end of May 2024 showing the Kernza field. This will be the second spring that this has come back. Last uh, summer, was, last August, was the first harvest, which uh, had its challenges. There's 24 acres here, and I'm standing in a corner of the field. Goes out a little bit around these woods here to the right. And then uh, it's considered highly erodible land. Just starting to rain out here. I'm not sure if that's going to get on the camera lens. But the tracks you see out there are where they spread turkey litter. I had two tons an acre put on and they were a little late getting it out here. Ideally, I was told to expect or I should have put it on last year after it was uh, harvested, put it in the stubble. But to be honest, the yield was so disappointing, we weren't sure if we were going to continue with Kernza for a second year. And it wasn't worth the... Uh, it ends up being almost $100 an acre. Um, so the $2,500, that would have just been wasted fertility to put it on and then get tilled in and not really capture the benefit of it. But um, the Kernza does a pretty good job of, you know, fighting weeds, although this is this uh, white cockle. Pretty sure it's cockle. I don't know the Latin name, but those are all the white flowers you're seeing out there. There's an occasional, this is a brassica plant. I want to say this is a um, is a type of penny cress, but I, I don't know. I mean, it's got that mustard family, you know, shape. But um, previous, there'd been quite a bit of lamb's quarter and pigweed out here, but the, the Kernza has just, it just crowds it out. Um, it looks really healthy. It looks a lot better this year, the 1st of June, than it did a year ago. It wasn't, you know, nearly as vigorous. Of course, we've had a warm spring with a decent amount of moisture. An early spring and off in the distance all that brown field amongst the trees there is my neighbor's food plot so he sprays that I actually see a couple deer walking through it I don't know if it'll show up in the video but I wanted to come out here and add this to the collection of my Kearns experience um, this is the dead spot where they dumped the turkey litter prior to um, spreading it so this patch is obviously saturated with nitrogen among other things and I'd be shocked if anything grows here but this is the only spot this is the designated spot we've got an equipment crossing over here where we can get in from the road hopefully we don't we're supposed to get about an inch of rain tonight I think that's gonna I still got to get my corn and beans in, but um, it's going to have to wait. It's been pretty wet here the last two weeks. Every time it starts to dry up, I think, okay, I'm ready to go, and then it rains again. Anyway, there's the Kernza. <laughs> 